we as Real Madrid fans, we love this place. They're way better than the previous year's place because if you remember, Mariano Diaz, Eden Hazard, Luka Jovic, those were the players we used to have and they were contributing nothing to the game. Unlike in this season, if you look at the entire squad, every single player has contributed in any way, shape or form, but they've all featured and done something on the pitch. But for this video, we are going to be looking at what are the most annoying things about each Real Madrid player. So first of all, Thibaut Courtois. Courtois, the best goalkeeper in the world, he really has a weakness. He's good at shot stopping, good at being a sweeper keeper. He can do it all. But if you remember the game against Liverpool of last year, his ball position and ball playing is very questionable. It's probably one of his weaknesses. And we saw he absolutely must kick and Salah got on the ball and Salah scored. And we've seen in today's day and age, the modern day of football, goalkeepers are being used as an extra outfield player when in ball position. Next up, we have Danny Carval, who is a good right back. Actually, scratch that out. He is one of the most legendary right backs ever. So I can go on and praise Carval for what a good player he is. But the most annoying thing about him, and you must agree, this guy can't keep himself away from being guarded. We can look at the Rabbi Icano match. He got a red card after coming on in the 80th minute and got a red card in the 90th minute. So this guy, he's reckless. He's also one of the captains, but he makes reckless challenges. He tries to fight the players, which that in itself is just crazy. I would say misbehavior is one of the most annoying things about Carval. We move on to Eddie Militao who Eddie Militao is one of the most disciplined defenders in the team in today's age. Unlike Rudiger, Carvo and Nacho, Militao is disciplined, he doesn't do reckless challenges, he doesn't go fight players. The most annoying thing about him, he's still a young player and this is something he can still work on, his inconsistency. We've seen it in 2023 especially. He has one master class, the next game is a disaster class. The next match is a masterclass and it just goes on like that. And then we have David Alaba. So with Alaba, it's a difficult one, but I will keep it super simple. The thing I dislike about Alaba is not his defending ability, not his goal scoring and passing ability because that's superb, but the fact that he refuses to play at left back, which was his primary position when he was a younger player. Obviously he's older so he has to get used to a new position, which is good at center back. But when Mendy was injured and we did not have a left back, he didn't contribute to a left back. Instead, Nacho was moved to left back. Jude Bellingham. This is actually a difficult one because I can't pinpoint a bad thing about him. So I will actually say he does no wrong, but I have to bring up an annoying thing about him, which I can't. Genuinely, so I'm actually going to scope this one out. I think he's at his best behavior, no matter what La Liga throws at him. They tried to get him suspended many times, which successfully they pulled off. But Bellingham, to me, he's well behaved, he's a good player, and I think there's nothing bad, nothing annoying about him. Good player. Next up, it's the captain, Nacho. Nacho, bro, I swear, you watch him, you would think he's a good center back good at playing in different positions. But the thing about Nacho that I dislike and the fact that he's gotten red cards, two red cards in the season for reckless challenges which he did not have to do. And this guy is dangerous. You guys do not understand. This guy is a danger to many of the other players who he goes up against. If you watched in 2021 against Chelsea, what that man did to Havertz, Nacho is a psycho. Genuinely, the team was losing, he tackles habits and then he chokes habits. This guy's insane. Vinicius Jr, we've all been waiting for this one. Vinicius, it's obvious. We even seen it against Osasuna, complaining to the ref, which to take his side. And I know many people criticize Vinny for his reactions, but if you had to see the reports that came up, that the Osasuna fans were shouting racist things loudly that I've heard and he just did nothing about it. 
they have a bunny at that stupendous reaction which I think he should not have gone on in that way but this is a recurring thing that happens every single game where he complains to the referees which fair play to him he does get abused and I think the referees need to protect him more you need to protect a player like Vinny because he might soon leave La Liga he might leave Real Madrid in the next few years Tony Cruz one of the greatest midfielders of all time but problem is not with Cruz it's with Ancelotti Ancelotti sometimes uses Cruz as a DM instead of playing too many there and Cruz is bad at DM you just have to admit it Man City exposed how bad Ancelotti's tactics were so my problem is not with Cruz I think he's amazing and even at his old age he's amazing with Luka Modric the most annoying thing about Modric is that he doesn't defend as much as he used to and this is due to his old age you have to understand it but Modric is a legend and it would be dumb of me to criticize him because he's 38 years of age 38 who is even playing at 38 years of age I'm going to let Modric slide on this one with Rodrigo and I've said this in multiple videos that he's super inconsistent and I will stick with that his inconsistency is the most annoying thing because when he is consistent he is top 5 in the world with Kamavinga I'll keep it simple lackluster performances I feel sometimes he doesn't bring enough energy into the game feels like he's just jogging on the pitch and not adding much defensively but I just hope he comes out of it and that's the most annoying thing about him Andre Lunen where can I find a weakness in this game? ball playing similar to Kortua I think he's better in ball position than Kortua that might be an unpopular opinion he's made some great passes but I would say his goal kicks are trash his goal kicks are so bad it either leads to a line out or it's just a bad kick which Kortua is good at that Arsenal can't even score nowadays he just misses the ball or either decides to just not kick the ball in We've seen it against Napoli. That was one of his worst performances. Sometimes I feel like he misses goals that he should be scoring. Federer Valverde, who is one of the most hardworking players, and he's genuinely amazing. He does no wrong. He doesn't misbehave. He doesn't do stupendous things. He's just a solid player. Lucas Vasquez, I think it's more so a thing of him not being good at right back because he is still a makeshift right back, in my personal opinion. But defending wise, he's not on the level of a Carvalho. So many outstanding player, and I can say that he does nothing wrong. Genuinely, he's reliable, he's good at DM, good at centre back. So I think there's nothing wrong with him. So we're gonna skip so many on this one. Sabayos, I can't really criticize Sabayos. I just hate this injury prone thing that's happening. He's getting injured almost every game. So that's probably his most annoying thing. Frank Garcia with his amazing speed and good runs. And overall good attacking left back. He's more so of a wing back than anything. But I feel like he makes too many overlapping runs. And I feel like defensively he doesn't help that much. And I like Frank Garcia. He's a good player. But I am, he doesn't do anything wrong. So we're going to skip it I He's well behaved. Rudiger, he has been our best centre back, but I feel sometimes maybe he must be his. Like I saw him one time pinching Morata, which I thought was just why would you do that? You know, do you feel me on that one? It's just why would you do that? That's it. Paul and Mendy was an overrated player. I actually like Mendy, but I feel that he is a bit too predictable. Because if you're watching, he runs on the left flank, passes back, or passes sideways, or puts some bad cross in. I feel like Mendy is a bit too predictable. Arda Gula, I think he's a great player, and he has a lot of potential. He will be a future star in the future. But one of the most annoying things about him is probably his lack of defensive plays. I feel like he doesn't defend that much, but it's all good. But I think he's a good player. Kepa. And I know people criticize Kepa a lot. 
but I actually think he's a good goalkeeper when he has the confidence. Unfortunately, since he joined Real Madrid this season, he has lacked confidence. He lost his place to Lunen and Kepa. It's just unfortunate for him. But that concludes the list. If you enjoyed, smash like, subscribe, and also leave your opinion.